All right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of Mass Effect 3. Let's get down to it here. Make sure everything's all good to go here. It is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I gotta check on the um, encoder. Sometimes when I hit the hotkey, the recording won't start. I've had that happen many times. So that's why I take a second to check it to make sure is it recording? You know what I mean? So because I've had to play missions over and over and over and over again because the damn encoder wasn't recording, you know? Okay. Check the war terminal. We get the Rachni warriors because we um saved the queen. Not a Spectre unit, huh? Cool. Okay. Need something, Shepard? What's the situation back on Tachanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tuchanka. Not when we're about to cure the Genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Ah, <clears throat> yeah. Something wrong? That's Solarian Wicks. He got his tissue sample from me, all right? Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. Oh, shit. He cut his balls. <laughs> now, I did do some digging last night. I did find there are um, there are mods for the Legendary Edition of Mass Effect here on the PC. Well, one of them is you get to just walk through this. You don't have to stand here, let it fucking scan you, and then you get to move on. Fuck that shit. You know? Why it even exists, I don't know. But it'll be one of the mods I install after I finish this run. You know? Um, there's like a bunch of other mods, too. Like, there's one for the first game where... Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has all factory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. How's Grunt? Our little tank baby's all grown up, huh? Apparently he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, he learned from the best, Commander. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. Yes, Shepard? You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Oh. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Okay. Aquas. Okay, nothing. But we do have an upgrade. I do know that. We do have an upgrade we need to make.
Commander, Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. We will do that. We will do that. You know, my lab studied the Ragni. Long distance communication with no time lag, the ability to control workers, and at close range, the Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long range communication without quantum entanglement, maybe when this war is over. Okay, down to the crew deck. So we can visit Glyph. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five ex-Sonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax is part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Okay. So. We get either damage or cooldown. We'll do cooldown. Okay. Audio log. Grunt addresses new Arlac Company recruits. And here's an email from Dr. Locke to Admiral Hackett. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Or you could keep fighting. I know. It's just... difficult. Watching you get shot at out there. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. Every time the world's about to end, I think about how mad you'd get if I didn't stop it. What? I don't know if I could do this without you. Flatterer. I try. I'll see you soon, Shepard. Please, enjoy your day. Yeah, we are is getting wet. <laughs> let's see if Garrus has anything to say. Probably not, but let's see. What, he's not in here? Should be. Oh, uh, he's not. He's in the lounge. That's where he is. He's in the lounge. So maybe he does have something to say. Wasn't the first time I faced Rachni. Really? You've seen them before? A few years back, 
on Averia. Saren and his minions were trying to extract information from the Ragni Queen. You saw the Queen? Hell, we spoke to her. You spoke? I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well, it didn't seem that way at the time. Mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess and into another, hoping your ass comes along for the ride. Just one word, Shepard. Grunt. There'll be a lot more dead reapers now. Alright. Why is Garrus so cool? Why? I, I don't know. Why is Garrus so cool? You know? Let's see if they have anything to say in the medical lab. I don't think they would do, but let's see if they do. Commander, we're ready to travel to Tachanka. I knew an STG scientist named Morden Solis. Have you heard of him? Indeed. I once punched him in the face. No oh, shit! He was still an STG at the time. I postulated there was more to evolution than just random mutation. Morden disagreed. We argued, we drank, then argued some more. Soon enough, a good fracas seemed the best way to settle things. Who won? He got a black eye. I broke a few fingers. We called it even and went back to drinking. So the two of you were friends? Some weeks, yes. Some weeks we didn't speak to each other. There were tremendous stresses for those involved in Genophage research. My side of it was all theoretical. His side... Well, he went to Tachanka. He saw its effects up close. He was never the same after that. I now understand. I'm sorry to say Morden died. I know. STG is aware of your mission through the Omega-4 relay. For Morden's sake, I hope he finally found the grace he deserved. And new music. If I hear Gilbert and Sullivan one more time, it's astonishing what noise some species consider harmonious. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate your help in this. Certainly, Commander. In the meantime, I'll continue my studies of the Shroud. I didn't know he punched Morden in the face. That's cool. Something else, Commander? What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that you can tell him. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. Okay. Let's see here. I doubt... Diana or... Uh, Diana or Javik will have anything to say, but... Let's go down and check anyway. I don't think Steve or... Um, James will have anything to say either. Commander, I did not expect to face the Rachni in this cycle, but I am not surprised. You said you used them as weapons? Biological proxies. It was before I was born, but every Prothean had heard the stories. When we knew of them, the Rachni spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. But our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Rachni were well suited to harsh conditions, so we bred them for violence selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleashed them upon our enemies. For a time, it worked, until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. 
I mean, that's cool. I I never knew. I never knew all this. You know, I never knew all this. It's really neat. It's really neat. So, arachnoid, that must get your mouth watering. Can't do a story. That's as classified as it gets. I suppose it would cause a panic, but wouldn't the news drive up recruiting? It might also piss off a Krogan with diplomatic immunity. No thanks. Commander. Okay, so nothing, but we're ready to move on. Though we're probably going to go to the Citadel first. So we can buy some stuff. From the stores. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. That sucks. One would think, but nope, there isn't. I don't think there's anything here. All right. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Citadel, buy some equipment, and then we're gonna um, go on the next mission. Get all the mods, that's what I really wanted, the mods. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. Okay. Okay. Combine Arsenal Supplies. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Elkos Combine. If it exists, we carry it. Don't be left out in the cold. Nope. Visit any Ask of about our Elkos Combine warranty. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Kanala Exports is pleased to offer goods for security and peace of mind. We food. want those, definitely. We'll take the dart fish. Cultivating serenity is possible even during times of crisis. At Kanala Exports, we believe that a peaceful heart is a strong heart. There we go. We're loading up on mods is what we're doing. We want to get them upgraded is what we want to do. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Liara. Didn't know if there's anything here for you or not. Fabrication weaponry. Take those two models. In the business. Come to Casa. Want you, you, 
definitely want that. Hell yeah, that um, cranial trauma. We'll need that for later. Proceeds from all purchases. Thank you for shopping. Our no. I have noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately high. Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Hooking up is one of the few things they can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. <laughs> Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. I'll be Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. We'll take that ultralight materials. Shoot smart. Power magnification. No there we go. All right. See, you want to do your optional stuff first before you move on. Because when you move on, you'll get to the point where you can't do certain things anymore. So that's why I want to do this now. I want to do everything optional, and then I want to be able to buy everything now. You know what I mean? So now we're going to go on to betting. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to work on the armor some more. And see if... And we didn't go down to talk to James or Steve. We get power damage and recharge, but we don't need that. Melee damage. Weapon damage. We lose health, but we gain weapon. Ammo capacity or weapon damage. Fuck that. No. All right. There. We should be all right. See, there's where all the models are right here. Do they do anything? No, it's just decoration. You know. I should probably go down to Purgatory because that's where Steve wanted to meet. Sir Kesh certainly offered me a new experience. What do you mean? Normally I'm not one to fly co-pilot, but when an 800 pound Krogan requests to take control of your shuttle, you comply. Probably wise. <laughs> I hear we're headed to Tachanka. Would love to see how things turn out. I'm just saying. Ooh, a mod a uh, Quarian model. We'll take that. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go back to the Citadel. I mean, sorry about this back and forth shit, because I keep forgetting. But, um... We're going to go to Purgatory real quick, and get that little scene from, um... You're cleared to Steve. Dock, do you need ground transport? I'm headed to Purgatory. We'll have a cab ready for you. Okay. So I thought about talking to Commander Bailey some more about that guy scamming the refugees. Really? What do you say? No, no, no. I'm telling you, I saw him in his eyes. Okay. Oh, Steve's not here. 
Son of a bitch! I Son of a bitch! He's not here. God damn it. He wanted to meet here. Guess I missed it. God damn it. That's okay. That's okay. Not like you really get anything out of it. So, Alright, we're going to betting. I promise. We're, we're going to betting now. Okay. Okay. We'll check this out after we get this mission done. We haven't brought James out in a while. He gives out shields. And then we can pick either Edie, Liara, or um, Javik. Yeah, Edie, Liara, Javik, or Garrus for power. Um, we haven't brought Edie out in a while. Let's bring out Edie. You can have a Matic. There we go. Wait. There. the high velocity Okay. We want to get warp ammo up so we can do more damage with it. And you can have defense matrix. You, you. You, you. You, because you're just a tank. Alright. Damage or radius for... Probably do radius... Lead damage. And 
armor. All right. Incinerary ammo. There we go. Perfect. Shepard, server strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigations suggest that the people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Unknown. We sent a recon team to investigate and the Cerberus squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, Cerberus is denying responsibility in condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. And innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. Hack it out. Building an avalanche of civilian SOS requests, Commander. The both are concentrated on the upper street. Cerberus forces are pinning them down. You better hurry. On my way. Keep me updated. Okay, so we do need to look for a hidden quest here. Nice job, James. Upper streets are clear. Hold on, Commander. What is it, Lieutenant? I'm tracking civilians fleeing the city with Cerberus troops right behind. Where are they? Updating your nav point. You can intercept them there. Got to double time it. He did pick up a dog tag. There's some ammo. We need that badly. Try to stay calm. What? What should we do? Just stay down. Commander, more Cerberus troops are heading your way. If you can hold the line there, it'll give the civilians time to escape. You heard him. We hold here. Nowhere to go.
There we go, shit. They're coming from everywhere, there we go. We need ammo, we need it badly. Don't think you're gonna put that up, you little bitch. You're clear, go! Hold the transport! We're gonna make it! Hostiles detected in the immediate area, Commander. Reinforcements are moving in to secure the evac route. Good work, everyone. I'll pick you up at the LZ, Commander. Okay. I'm thinking that dog tag is what I needed. But I'm going to explore first. Um... You don't want to just go, 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 go. You want to explore, you know? Because I want to make sure I get that um, mission done. Because I've always missed it before. And I'm thinking it's just that dog tag, but I'm not sure. It might be. those spare parts though. Hell yeah we will. Money. There we go. Yep, I think we're ready to go. Little short M7 mission here. against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still denying responsibility? 
Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual M.O. Either way, the civilians down there have a chance now. We're solidifying the foothold and getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. One day, Commander. For now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. Okay. So, now, we're gonna go back to the Citadel again. <laughs> Just to turn in that quest. So, Reapers don't have colonies. You can't bomb them, or you're bombing what's left of your own planet. They make their own soldiers out of our civilians. They don't have supply lines. How do you beat something like that? I'll let you know if I think of something. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. The Ara to Sony. She's working on a project. She wants us to meet her in her quarters. Well, we'll do that real quick then. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. And Javik is his usual forthcoming self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. Well, what did she want to show us? I had something I wanted to show you, Shepard. Could we meet in your cabin when you have a moment? Greetings, Commander. Okay, so she wants to meet in the cabin instead. You had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes. I'll be right up. Is this... I think this is the one I... I think... Yeah, 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 yeah. I know which one this one is. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So... I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. All right. Let's begin with the fact that Earth's most famous officer was born and raised in space. The commander was also a skilled engineer. The best the Alliance ever offered in battle, in fact. He was a soldier, and a leader, one who made peace where he could. And it was a privilege to know him. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well... I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. Uh, 
Oh, she's not here. Uh, I thought. Okay, cool. All right. So like I said, now we need to go back to the Citadel so I can turn in that quest for that diplomat. Signal confirmed. I knew there had to be something here. I knew there had to be. Nice. There's got to be another one around here. There it is. We'll take that fuel. We'll take that fuel. Reapers eluded. Reapers eluded. Nice. All right. Cool. So, forgive me, everyone, for all this running back and forth from the Citadel and all that. So. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. Reaper forces have rapidly expanded. Yes, his squad did. Have you found my son? I found your son's body in the slums on Benny. He sacrificed himself to save his squad. I uh, see. Their guilt made them avoid me. They should feel honored by his sacrifice. I... I know that I do. Thank you, my friend. Humanity has suffered... All right, cool. We got that one done. Now we're going to go back to the Presidium so we can buy more stuff. Please select a destination. One moment, please. You know, you may, I need the stuff. I need the mods more than anything. Um, Where is this going? Because if this isn't serious, then we need to talk. You know, get your mods. Get them all bought. Because, you know, you never know which ones you're going to need. So... Welcome to the Citadel Gift Shop. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Yoink. Yoink. Our selections include Good high hunting. technology upgrades. There for we go. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Agor Munitions. For deals you never see coming. Thank you. You. All right. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Proceeds from all sales go to help the troops on Palavan. Thank you for shopping at Cipertine Armory. Okay, so we got everything. Nice. Well, everything we can for now. Um, there's nothing really more. I can do right now. that is optional, so we gotta go to um so we gotta go to uh yeah I can think of it um to Chunka <laughs> Welcome Commander Shepard one moment please Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24.
Okay. Now we're going to Chachanka. There's three missions to do on Chachanka. We'll do all three of them. But first, we need to investigate the systems. See if there's anything we can grab. Signal confirmed. Nice. Got two of them. Hey, a Shadow Broker Wet Squad. Nice. Take our fuel. Then we'll get out of here. I found something. Take the fuel. Nice. And that was it, just fuel. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, okay. Just making sure we got everything. But before we do anything, we need to go back. We have an upgrade. Now that I'm thinking about it, we have an upgrade. May as well get that upgrade. Excellent find, Commander. The information network terminal has been updated. Okay. We can do shields or we can do weapons. We're going to do weapons. There, we can do more damage now with weapons. Now we can go to Jajanka. Okay. We'll do the Cerberus attack first. We'll bring out Garrus. The shield. Power. And I think it's Javik's turn. Okay. You need your pole, or... Yeah, your pole. Okay. Shepard Service's landing force is away from the Tachunka battlefields. Their target seems to be an ancient ground-to-space cannon facility that hasn't been used since the Krogan rebellions. The site has no obvious military advantage and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Get in there, stop them. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. We'll get it done. See to it. Hack it out. The 
say Cerberus got that cannon operational, Commander. I'll go back up and get a read on what they're shooting at. Get on it. All right. Let's find the control room for those cannons. Anything in our way. This I can do. Commander, I have a visual on an inbound Cerberus cruiser. The cannon flyer is clearing the way. If that ship makes it to bombardment range, the Kruger resistance is in trouble. Keep track of it, Lieutenant. On it. Control center secure. Then I think it's time to test this cannon. Okay, we got everything we need. <laughs> Not the kind of Krogan relic I expected to find. Pulling the plug! You'll need to get the power back on! Let's move! Hey, that worked. Get rid of that nemesis. We do not want that nemesis. I'll tell you that right now. I've rerouted the power to the main console. Heading back now. Well, yeah, I think it's easier to get this way, isn't it? Your shields ain't nothing, asshole. Oh, shit. We don't need you. They up here? Yes, they are. Oh, you gotta go around? That's bullshit. That's okay. Commander, cruiser initiating bombardment. Cannon control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Uploaded. Firing. Direct starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. Dead and buried. All right. Good work, everyone. All right, cool.
Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. Okay. Now... The improved power grid, that'll be one we need to turn in. But we'll do it after we're done with Chachanka. Well, actually, no. We'll pull out the Turian platoon, and then we'll go to the... Um, Oh, we already got them, so we can go back and turn that in, too. But we'll do it, like I said, after we pull out the uh, Turians. I know it's boring and it's annoying that you have to go back and forth and back and forth, but it has to be done if you want to get these quests done. Front lines. Why have they got us guarding a door, anyway? It's going to break ranks right now. War makes people stupid. Besides, you talked with Moreau? Electra's invaded this ship and kidnapped the crew. Damn. Okay, I guess we gotta be ready for anything to come through that door. The Aura and James? No, we'll do Edie and James. That way we can OG when we cure the genophage. Okay. This crash site's a nightmare. Looks like Rex was right about Reaper Scouts. Edie, any further intel? The mission brief identifies the Turian commander as Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. Victus? The Primarch's son. Try to raise him. Your dad becomes Primarch and sends you on a secret op? That's pressure. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Okay. Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper Harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. This sounds bad. Let's move. Look at this place. Bad. We'll take that for a magazine you know, upgrade. Be poking around Tachanka. Maps of the area list no important resources. Boom! That's how you kill them quickly. Take the spare parts for credits. Hell yeah! Escape pod dead ahead. It appears that they survived the crash, and then a harvester exploded the pod. Died in the explosion? Or dragged out and chewed on by husks. Okay, we got the Tempest. Picking up auditory evidence of conflict. Okay, 
I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Nice to get a jump on them for a change. Exactly. Let's go. You ain't getting shit, motherfucker. Incoming harvester. That harvester will compromise the escape pod. Got it. All right, cool. Thank you. Don't stop for us. We'll head for the main crash site. There's another pod ahead. We managed to save them all. Damn right we did, Edie. Because <laughs> we know how to take down harvesters like they're nothing. Crash site ASAP. Damn. Losing men is hard enough. But when everybody expects you to be like your big time old man, that's gotta be rough. Organic species give disproportionate credit to parental influence. Peer groups are a more important factor in determining behavior. Down we go like a fireman. <laughs> I got to jump on them. Follow my lead. That's how you take care of those fuckers. Come this way. Over here. Come this way. Do you read, Commander? Repeat, do you read? Shepard here. What's your status? We're in deep. Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. Deceleration online. We'll survive. Victus is going to pay for this. Court martial are hanging. How's their commander gonna live this down? When we find him, we'll ask. Okay. Yeah, look for your items. Gotta do away with that harvester is what we gotta do. Shepard here. Just saw harvesters drop a lot of enemies in your path. Understood. The harvester is ahead. It appears to be retreating. We don't need you upgrading fucking animals, I tell ya. You call that retreating? There we go. Shit. Okay, let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. Here's where politics pisses me off. Wouldn't the Krogan want to blow these Reapers the hell off their own planet? I need these guys working together. Better not to complicate things.
take that med kit, even though we don't need the metagel. Take that barrel. All right, let's move. Full arsenal, you're ready. Right behind. We do not want that brute. We do not want that brute fucking around. Damn, we're just taking these fuckers out like they're nothing. Harvester incoming. There he is. There, we got that harvester. Done here. Area secure. Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Making hard decisions and dealing with the consequences. That's what being a leader is about. You're right, Commander. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? Sacrifice is what we sign on for. They know that. And so should you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? What's wrong with you? Inspire them. Threaten them. Lieutenant, if Cerberus succeeds, the Reapers divide and conquer us. And then that is on them. Listen up. This isn't about your fears and grievances. Fears? We're only afraid of the next messed up order you give. Irrelevant. Court martial death and dishonor awaits anyone who balks at his duty. We are Turian. We finish what we came here to do, or we die trying. Shuttles arrive any minute, so get your asses in gear! Let's move! Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, I've given you a second chance. Don't screw this up. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous.
Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan-Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? Doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Okay. So now we're gonna go... and finish that mission. It's a part two. Buddy got discharged. Category six after Eden Prime. That's six? Damn. Well, if I'd been on Eden Prime, I'd have lost it too. He fought it, said he was still fit for duty. Last thing he told me was that he was joining Cerberus. You've got new messages, Commander. Who? Oh. So one of the colonists from uh, Benning said, oh, thanks for saving me. That's pretty much what that was. We're going to locate the bomb. Get that done. We'll go Javik James this time. Double J. We're not talking Jeff Jarrett. Normandy shuttle. This is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan Rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Hedging your bets, huh? You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Okay. Warp ammo. Let's move it, people! Find cover! Keep your heads down! Yeah. 
Yippee ki yay, motherfuckers! Behind? No, they're get to the buildings. Once we reach the bomb, I'll need to reprogram the trigger mechanism. Copy that. No trigger, no explosion. Okay, we got another sniper rifle there. The incisor. We'll take the blade attachment for the shotgun. out that guardian hell we're just mowing those fuckers down like they're nothing the turians must have feared the program to plant such a weapon maybe the turians have more in common with us than i thought cerberus is putting up a fight but the ninth platoon is advancing commander good work Missile scope, we'll take that. I'm getting a lot of Cerberus radio chatter. I don't like the sound of that. Cerberus is retreating! Let's get to high ground! Agree! Let's go! <laughs> I just blew Cerberus away like they were nothing. <laughs> How the hell did they hide that? They must have been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. An effective way to deal with an enemy. The Turians who created this have my respect. But we're running out of time. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. We're on our way. Up the ladder we go for another concentration module. We're closing on the Hornets now. They'll be swarming out any minute now. Agreed. But they've underestimated. Severus will return to correct that mistake. Damn, they're running. Just making sure there's nothing else here. I'm at the control panel, Commander. 
Cobra set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Oh! Oh! Look out! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Nobody gets past me. Clear? We got it. Contact! I need more time, Commander! Gavix on his own. <laughs> Shit, he's playing cowboy! took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. You can spend your whole life making up for your mistakes. At least the guy went out in a blaze of glory. We still talking about the Primarch's son? I'm not going anywhere, Loco. I'm getting tired of seeing people die. Lieutenant Victor's fought for a cause he believed in. A soldier can't ask for more than that. He died well. Nobody dies well. 
I'm tired of saying otherwise. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Heck it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey! We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primarch, you had a bomb on Tachanka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today, making this right. Yeah, that's a good point. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. I understand your reservations before, Commander, but I hope you now understand the secrecy. I hate secrets and politicians, Primarch. Your son had to die to fix this. Yes. You're right, Commander. It was a mistake not to trust you. I know that now. My son, he died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna go to the Citadel. That way then I can turn in a few quests. Um, I believe I have... I have Barlavon and the, and the improved power grid. So I need to go to Purgatory, and then the, um, Presidium. So, Sarah, about your buddy, the one who joined Cerberus, you heard from him? No, I cut ties, reported him, for whatever good that did. No way I want that crap on my record. Okay, so off to the Citadel we go. Okay. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'm headed to Purgatory. We'll have a cab ready for you. I'm not going to be able to put up with this assignment much longer. I hear you. The white people in there keep acting like nothing's going on. No, that's just their coming. Don't mean to interrupt you, but I found these schematics. They're pretty old, but maybe they could help you? really are old, but solid. We could totally convert our current systems to this. Thanks. Alright, cool. You're done. Now we're going to Presidium, which we can't do from here. Welcome, Commander.
Commander Shepard. One moment, please. So we can go talk to Bar Levon. Buy some more stuff while we're at the Presidium. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. I rescued those soldiers from Reaper territory. Excellent work. I've been asked to offer you part of my finder's fee from the mercenary's employer. And now that our business is concluded, I have to attend to some other engagements. Goodbye, Commander. And may I say, good luck. Okay. Cool. We got that one done. So, let me let me look at another one real quick. We need to find If you know the world you are calling the war. I'm making plans for what comes after. I don't think I can do this anymore. I know what you mean. I thought our training prepared us for everything. Okay, we're looking for Volus here that needs a book or something. But it doesn't look like we either we either don't have it or we missed it. One of the two. Welcome to Agor Munitions. You You specialists are always interested in you Remember, all purchases made by a Welcome to Cipertine Armory. You. 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 Cool. We got everything we need from the Presidium. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go to the Turian War effort. Yeah, isn't that what they said? Presidium Commons? I think they're up in the apartments, are they? Uh, nope. Okay, we must not have it then. We must not have it. Can we even go to Irun? Because isn't that where we're supposed to go? Why it starts me all the way the fuck down here, I don't know, but it does. Um... Yeah, if it's not on the map, I'm not going to worry about it. Probably only get experience for it anyway, so. But it's still a nice little thing to do, you know. Okay.
Nope. Okay. So we'll just cure the genophage real quick, and then we'll call it after that. And we're gonna OG this one. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're gonna be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, sir. A new form of Reaper at the Shroud facility, Commander. It's using the tower to poison Tachanka's atmosphere. They want a fight! They just got one. Primark. We're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. You said you'd help. It's time to deliver. What is it you need? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Leaving a small window for dispersing the cure, we'll have to finish synthesizing it at the Shroud itself. Eve will need to come with us. We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? There's even a doubt? Let's move, Pijak. It's time to cure the genophage. Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm room for you. Galatrus? Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine, Paddock Wicks has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow the diplomatic pressures of this war to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? We have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Paddock will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Paddock would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. The Talatrass is a racist? <laughs> Fuck the Krogan. That's pretty much what she's saying. So we're gonna OG this. We're gonna OG this. Because we're helping Rex. We're gonna cure the genophage. Because Rex is a good friend of ours. Okay. We pierce for warp. I'm not wasting points on stasis, even though I put two in it, but that's okay. Um. We'll do damage. Headshots. Okay, I was just thinking of what I wanted to do with, um, war panel. Order the clans to assemble at the hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. 
We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Yes, a paradigm shift. The ramifications will be felt for centuries. Commander, you seem troubled. I got a message. Rex, it's Reeve. The Reapers are already at the hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. We're heading in. Them away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clans. Everyone, pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move. Here they come. Push forward. Don't let them get up here. Hey, you think, Liara? Chad. We're not done yet. More on the way. songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. The female is safe, Commander. The vital signs remain strong. What's a Solarian doing here? Nobody said anything about this. Oh dear. More males. There's no time for this. Whatever grudge you have against Solarians ends right now. As long as it involves a bullet in his head, time for some payback. Stand down, Reeve. The Solarian is with me. Enough! You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I will. And so will I. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. There's a Reaper that needs killing! <laughs> for the genophage, Rex. You'll have to placate them somehow. I'll demand the Council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the Ancients. Krogan expansion is how this whole conflict began. What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. And then my people uplifted you. It wasn't an improvement. No. We destroyed Tachanka long before that. Technology had changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. And now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. I'd say helping defeat the Reapers would be worth a new planet. 
Or ten? You haven't seen how fast we can pop them out. Rex. What? With the Genophage cured, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. Commander, on the shuttle, was there something you were going to say? The Dalatraz tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? If the sabotage was subtle enough, you wouldn't. But now I can account for it. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. I told you we could count on him. Why are we stopping? There's the shroud! Rex, you and Paddock stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. Will do. What's the holdup? Road's out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper are here. Oh. Oh. An airstrike alone won't do it. We have to get in that fight. I don't care if we have to build a new road. We're going. Understood. Save your pilots. We'll find another way. There's a tunnel over there. Could be a way off. Get to it! Okay, we got a bunch of stuff here. There we go. Drop your cocks, grab your socks, we're going. Rex, are you receiving this? Is everyone okay? Yeah, just scratches. Nothing the Solarian can't patch up. Reeves truck made it out too. The Turians had to call off the airstrike. What was that? We'll need a new plan like for dealing tender. with the Reaper. First we'll have to find you. Where did you end up? Underground. We see ruins of some kind. Commander, that's the city of the ancients. How do we get out? No maps exist. It's been abandoned for thousands of years. You're a trailblazer, Shepard. Get through there and we'll find a place to meet up. Nothing will stop this cure. Okay, and that would have been just a shortcut. Okay. I'm looking around because you never know. There could be hidden items in here. Look at that artwork. Fascinating. This painting suggests Krogan had an artistic side. Pad being the operative word. And now they have rubble. That's cool. I never knew that was here. All the years of playing this game, I never knew that was there. That's awesome. There it is again. That didn't feel like a tremor to me. Rex, are you guys feeling these tremors? Not up here. 
It could be something else, Commander. It is said that Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, lives in this region. Which is another reason to get your ass out of there, Shepard. Step on it! Did I hear that right? Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws? When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. They don't think anyone's ever going to kill it. Wild Guess says that's Kalros. If that's what we've been hearing down here, I suggest we get moving. Yeah, that's so cool. I didn't know all that artwork was here in these ruins. You get credits for it, which is cool, but I didn't know it was down here. Ravager. There are bound to be more than just the ones we killed. Rex, we've got Rachni here. Keep an eye out. I know. A few of them just attacked us. All that matters is getting to that shroud. Find us fast. Okay, we're out of here. Light ahead. In my younger days, I would have loved to have spent time here studying these ruins. It makes you wonder what the Krogan might have done if they hadn't blown up the planet. Rex, we made it back outside. Well, if you can see sunlight, that's progress. And the color green. I thought plants were extinct around here. You're looking at hope. All that's left of it on Tachanka. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Shepard, that Reaper is still up to no good at the Shroud. Find a way out of there and we'll pick you up. We're on it. Dealing with the Reaper when we get there will be another matter. Again, we're looking around. We don't want to. Maybe Eve is right. Curing the Ahead, we've got movement. To a Krogan. Nothing stays quiet here for long. Seeing all this just makes you Another quake. That had to be Calrose. Stay sharp. Yeah, again, you, you want to look around for your items because you never know. They could be hiding more items around here. You know, I know it's boring. I know it gets annoying. I understand that. But, you know, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. It isn't over yet. Now. There we go. Rex, you're right about Calrus. She's on the move. Now we've got some ideas on that. What? Not now, Rex. The commander has enough to worry about. What's happening? Some crazy idea we can talk about later. Just worry about getting out of there right now. Okay, it's right over here. Okay. Looks like another shooting gallery. Boom! Took out all three of them with one shot. Looks like we got a bridge up ahead. Try to find it, and we'll pick you up there. We're a little preoccupied right now. Really starting to hate this place. 
Do at least both. One giant death trap. And the thing is, I bet Rex is enjoying this. Yeah, I bet he is. <laughs> Don't they hide items over here? Watch it, go ahead. I see them. Marauders, because they're they're giving us problems. There we go. See, there's an item here. I wanted it. How the fuck we get down there? Oh, over here. Okay. Shepard, we've almost lost Calross. Get down from there and we'll find you. Shepard, get over here. Breathe. Keep an eye out for that model. I don't want it sneaking up on us. Make it quick, Rex. We're exposed. Move it! It's Calross! Move, Shepard! We're in! Go! What about Reed? No way he survived that. And he was a pain in the ass, anyway. Now let's finish this. There's a Reaper waiting for us. We don't have a plan for this. I know we've beaten the odds before. But getting to that town... I don't know. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. Then I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Kalros. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? She need only draw the Reaper away from the tower. That would give us time to synthesize and release the cure. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. We flew through the Omega-4 relay and survived. We can do this. That's the spirit, Shepard. How would we summon her? The tower was built from an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. We got that much right. There are two Mawhammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. In the meantime, the laboratory is just over there. I can finish synthesizing the cure. We know why we're here and what's at stake. So let's make it happen. Wait! I want you to know that no matter what happens, you've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot, and a brother to me. To every Krogan born after this day, 
The name Shepard will mean hero. Yeah. Now, let's show them why. Go. I've got this. I have earned my breaths, and this is my planet. See you on the other side. We'll have the cure ready shortly, Commander. Okay, here we go. Let's this one's not bad. We're kind of busy, Rex. Lucky for you, I'm here. I'll handle it. Another item, the flanks. Commander, finally some luck. The original strain is in storage. I'm preparing the cure now. Make it quick. They're all over us out here. By the goddess, to our left! <laughs> Consider that practice. Okay, Shepard. I raise the hammers. You have to activate both of them. My advice is avoid the giant laser. Are we sure about this? Just keep moving. Stick to cover. The sensor cover's going to work. Did it! I can't believe we're actually doing this. Don't stop! Commander, this is Marty McQueen. We'll try to give that reaper something else to shoot at. I knew they wouldn't give up. Thank you. Go! Let's push ahead! Go, go, go! Over on our left, one of the hammers! Drop your cocks, grab your socks! Son of a bitch. God damn it. We gotta go get the hammers. That's what we gotta do. They're just gonna keep spawning. Go, go, go. Quick, we hit the first The cure is nearly ready, but Eve's vital signs are drooping. I'm trying to compensate. Take a minute, I'll leave the top. Shepard, get the cure going. There's a reaper in my way, Rex.
secure ready. Yes, it's loaded and set for dispersal. Two minutes and counting. Though the procedure took a toll on Eve. Is she okay? I believe so. Malin's research was crucial in stabilizing her. Together, she and Rex can ensure a Krogan future we need not fear. Evolution at its best. Time's running out. We must get to the control room at the top of the tower. Why? It's the only way to repair the sabotage. I've already detected a temperature malfunction. The cure won't work unless this is fixed. How do I do that? You don't. This is best left to me, Commander. You should get your team clear. Paddock, wait. This is a one-way trip. And has been since the day I met Eve. All I've ever done my entire career is destroy the natural course of the universe. This is my chance to make amends. time ago, my father betrayed me in this place, his own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him, right over there. That's what the genophage reduced us to, animals. But you changed that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a shame Paddock Wicks didn't survive. There aren't many people willing to die for another species. I wish I'd had a chance to tell him I was wrong about Solarians. At least one of them. But you, Commander. We can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavet immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. 
You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know. All right, it's one of those stupid dream sequences again. These are so fucking annoying. They they really are. These are so fucking annoying. And I don't understand why they even exist. You know? You got to find that stupid kid. He runs around and you got to follow him. And so you think you just go his direction, right? No, you don't. He pops up randomly in these spots. It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Caden, back on Vermeer. He died, buying us time to defeat Sovereign. Seeing what we're up against now, you might think his sacrifice was in vain. You know Caden would never think that. Yeah. That's one more reason I miss him. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. He called the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Commander, there is something we should discuss, if you are finished rewriting history. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well... I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. If Adina's dirty, it's best we get to the bottom of it fast. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valor out. Alright. 
Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. What does Admiral Hackett want? Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... This won't end well for the human race. Or any race. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. All right, well, I'm going to call it for this video. I mean, it, I'm sure it's a long one, so hope you all had fun in this episode, and I will see you all next episode.